Hey, it's Steve. Well, I'm looking to fill in a structure location here on this HO scale switching layout. Uh, you can see again, I do have these structures that I'm working on down here, which are the main uh, areas where the switching will be taking place in terms of having all the loading bays and that kind of thing. But on this end over here, I do have an empty spot here in this parking lot area uh, where I do plan to put another structure. However, I don't have one for that location at this time. So what I plan to do is basically kit bash one of my old existing structures that I had for my last HO scale layout. So you can see in this bin, I have a, a bunch of old structures uh, from my previous layout. There's really two big structures in particular that I likely will be using. I think it, this was, was a Walter's uh, baked goods company kind of thing. And this unit here was the Lakeville warehouse, which I kit bashed as well and totally reoriented how it was designed and everything and added some different things to it. Um, and so probably what I'm gonna use is leave this one alone and hack apart this other structure here. And so this section here uh, actually uh, was a seam and so I can quite readily take off this whole section here and use that on the layout. So anyway, I'm just gonna kind of quickly hack away here, see if I can pry apart some of these joints with a knife. Get it roughly hacked down to size. I could in fact just leave it like this. That might be an option that I'll go with as well. Okay, so what I decided I might do is go ahead and uh, keep some of these storage tanks, put those next to the structure here. Okay, so this part of the structure here is gonna go up against the uh, back wall. However, this little uh, part here sticks out a little bit. And so I do need to go ahead and trim off a little section here, which I marked in pencil, which you can sort of see um, barely on the edge of the, uh, the wall here. And so that section there, I'm gonna cut off. This part's gonna go up against the side wall I'm gonna build, so I don't really care about the door there. Um, I'm also going to have to trim a little bit of the, uh, the roof here as well to, uh, to match up uh, with the part that I'm cutting. So I'll have to notch out this little area here, which I marked in pencil, uh, and that should uh, fit flush against the wall once I go ahead and sand this smooth, this area here uh, that's kind of all goofy looking. So to do the trimming, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of freehand it here with a uh, Dremel and see what happens. But that's not going to work for a cutting bit. So we'll go ahead and try to uh, cut off this using this really thick cutting bit. Okay, so you can see here now that uh, I have this little notch cut out. I'll go ahead and do some fine, well, I'll do a, a fit test first and then go ahead and, and sand that a little bit smoother. But for the most part, it came out pretty clean, just using the Dremel as it uh, by itself. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see there, but you can see how that uh, how the structure there kind of fits in around the little uh, frame piece there and makes kind of a snug fit. So once I go ahead and get that uh, top part there sanded smooth, I'll have a nice fit, nice tight fit here in the corner. And then I'll go ahead and uh, cut out the plaster here along the base so it uh, fits in snugly as well uh, in that area. I'll go ahead and stick a pencil and mark where I need to have the plaster cut here. And I can cut that so that'll fit snugly in there as well. So now let's go ahead and sand everything, make that cut out here um, so that I didn't have the plaster removed. And then I can go ahead and get this part of the building uh, installed. go ahead and cut out this section of plaster. All right, that sound was just me using the little handheld circular saw to take this little block of pine and trim it a little bit. This is actually left over from my last board test in Taekwondo from a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to use it here and uh, uh, fill in here this back part with this block of wood. And so a smidge too wide. But the idea here is I want to have um, I want to have this wood back here that actually provide a lot of support to the roof and everything. Um, otherwise, it's you know it's just going to flop around and not be very solid at all. 
first off, I have to kind of just fix this roof section. I'll throw a little super glue on the inside. Go ahead and clamp that a little bit. And to help clamp this, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some blue painter's tape. So I put a couple little shims in there on this side. Uh, this side's up against the side wall and then everything is clamped down as well. So that'll hopefully help keep things uh, sort of secure. So I think I'm actually gonna use a couple of sections of pine. Um, the bigger one would be like the main piece here and I'll use some of this other thinner pine to kind of help anchor this, uh, anchor this in here and also serve as sort of a little backdrop to this part of the, the structure here. It's basically what I've just done here is just traced out uh, this building panel onto here. I'll cut that out. I'm gonna cut this uh, board here right on the edge. This will be the edge of the of this building here, um, building piece here, and so they can kind of see how it's all gonna to fit together. And so I'll go ahead and have this other wall here to kind of provide some additional backdrop. Um, I went ahead and, uh, again, this was glued up last night, this, these two pieces of pine. Uh, I sanded them and painted them this morning, just a flat black. I kind of wanted it to disappear in the background. I didn't really feel like uh, I wanted to go ahead and paint it, you know, with like a blue, sky backdrop and worry about that kind of thing. So the whole idea here is that it'll, it'll more or less just kind of disappear in the background. Um, you're not really going to notice it that much anyway. And so it's just kind of, you know, there, um, you serve as kind of more protection for the storage tanks and anything else, as well as the structure in general. Again, it just wanted to kind of disappear in the background. And that's why I just went ahead and did the flat black. Go ahead and just run some, some glue here on the inside and the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and put this structure piece in here just to make sure um, I want it to basically fit flush up against the structure so I don't have a gap back in, back in here. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of force that in there, make sure it's where I want it. And then get some clamps, or a clamp at least, and get that held in place there. Okay, so the little side backdrop piece has dried during the course of the day and that's how they're pretty solid. I've also gone ahead and on this little wall section, replaced the two doors that were missing, I added the staircase back in, and I went ahead and painted the edges uh, with some black paint, just so when that's up against the wall there, uh, you know, you're not, you're not gonna see like the, the actual edge of the plastic so much. So this is basically ready to go there for the installation. Um, again, my other building section here is basically ready to go as well for installation. I went ahead and cut out some of the plaster where the uh, storage tanks are going to go so those kind of fit in there and more or less blend in with the rest of the, the concrete area and so that's ready to go. Um, one thing I wanted to do though before I do the installation was go ahead and uh, repaint the, this section of the backdrop um, so it's sort of a nice a nicer blue color since everything kind of got messed up during the course of the overall construction. Uh, so I just basically mixed up a couple of shades of blue here and I just going to go ahead and repaint this section of the backdrop. It's probably a little darker than I'd like, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some lighter paint to that. Not a lot of the backdrop is gonna show with all the structures, but I do wanna at least have, you know, something there. And I'm leaving it, everything kind of streaky with the paint, so it kind of gives uh, the appearance of a little bit more haze and stuff in the, in the background. And it's drying super fast, so it looks like I have different colors on here, but because it's, you know, extremely hot here, uh, this, uh, this paint is drying almost as fast as I put it on, so you can see how quickly it goes from being light to being darker colored as it dries. Okay, next I'm gonna go through and just take some green paint, dab that on there, uh, and then while the paint is still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some ground foam. This will kind of act as a little bit of a, a backdrop here uh, for this area here between the buildings. I'm gonna put some fencing in there as well. That'll be some trucks and trees and stuff in there too, and so it will be uh, mostly concealed, but I do wanna have a, um, sort of some semblance there in the background of of some type of uh, greenery going on. I'm just going to put some of the ground foam in my hand and kind of blow it on there. Throw a little static grass on there as well. Pull this tape off. And then I also found some uh, raw iron fence sections in my scrap box. Uh, they, they were blue, I went ahead and painted them black. I'm going, to go, I'm going to go ahead and glue those here right on in front of 
that greenery there um, kind of going to help mask it a little bit and kind of create the illusion of some trees and shrubs uh, back behind the fence. It'll kind of create at least the appearance of there being something in the background there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get some of the structure pieces uh, glued in place here. And I have these sections of black fencing, which I'm going to go ahead and uh, install in front of that backdrop or that background area. And this I will probably go ahead and just make that a uh, like this little area here, some some grass for now. I'll just actually use a mixture of that glue and some paint. Just work that in there. I mean, there's ballast and everything else in there too, but. This area here might be hard to tell, but there's actually no, uh, none of the sort of concrete stuff there. Go ahead and do some static grass in there. Just sprinkle it in. I'm not going to worry about making it too perfect looking. A little ground foam in there as well. There's a lot in there. I'm just going to go ahead and actually vacuum up most of this here uh, once this dries. Okay, so I went ahead and got everything installed here. I got the piping glued back onto the tanks and the side of the building there where they connect. So you can see that through the little gap in there. Um, I also added a little bit of ballast in around the tanks to kind of hide the, the gap between the, uh, the base of the tanks and the rest of the parking lot area. Again, a little bit of ballast uh, and dirt mixed in there around the edge of the building. Um, I went ahead and vacuumed off the excess ground from the static grass, added some scenic cement as well as a few little shrubberies and a tree there to kind of hide that corner seam. Uh, I also glued on the, the uh, wrought iron fencing there uh, in front of the backdrop and uh, added a little bit of ballast in the bottom there to kind of hide any remaining gap there. I'll have to kind of clean a little bit off probably around the gate and stuff. But again, I'm gonna have you know various trucks and things you know, kind of hiding the uh, the actual backdrop as well in this section here between the structures. And so you're not really going to see it a whole lot, but there is something there at least. There's kind of some hint of shrubbery, you know, on the backdrop there. Then you have the fence. And so there is some kind of separation there. It's not just kind of an abrupt transition between the concrete and the, the, the blue backdrop there. So anyway, that's kind of a quick look at uh, where things are at. Uh, some progress now here on the HO scale switching layout and hopefully a lot more to come here in the near future. So that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.